Well, in less than an hour, a brown pelican who inadvertently visited our state in the middle of the winter will finally head back south. But this beautiful bird's journey is only possible thanks to a small army of Connecticut volunteers. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne joins us now live outside Merritt and Markham Airport with this incredible story and journey. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Nicole. Yeah, this truly is a remarkable story. We've been introducing you to Arvi, a beautiful brown pelican who is from down south, but inadvertently wound up in Connecticut. He was actually rescued from the Connecticut River in Essex, but now he is headed closer to home thanks to these two ladies right here, a mother-daughter pilot team. Just saying it makes me sound, feel like my life is boring. We're joined by Ariana and Laurie Strand. And Laurie, I'll start with you. When you were asked if you could take this remarkable journey and take RV down to Florida to a wildlife refuge, what made you say, you know what, I'm ready? Um, you know, I thought it was a really great story and he needed to get home and, you know, we have the ability to do this. I actually it worked out well with my time off from work. So so we looked at everything into weather and logistics and decided it was a go. And it's going to be wheels up around 6 o'clock. And I mentioned that this is a mother-daughter pilot team. We have Ariane here as well. And Ariane, I know the flight's going to take about eight and a half hours in the air. You're going to stop to refuel as well. You're going to be in a plane called the RV-12, which was actually built by local high school students at Wilcox Tech. Tell me a little bit about this plane. And by the way, yes, the bird was named after the plane that he's going home in. So this plane was built by um, Wilcox Tech High School students with the supervision of the EAA Experimental Aircraft Association Chapter 27 here in Meriden. And um, so they built this plane over three years, meeting twice a week. Um, once the plane was fully built, it became a flight club, the Spirit of Meriden. And there are now six members who um, share this plane and fly it, and we're lucky to be able to taking, take this adventure. Uh, yes, an adventure and a very nice homecoming. You're closer to home, finally, for RV, like so many in Connecticut. The bird will be spending the rest of the winter down south. i got to tell you, I'm kind of jealous. By the way, a team of volunteers actually nursed RV back to health, and again, in a matter of hours, RV will be back down south. Reporting live in Meriden, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.